This week on the WPT has an ever so slightly different look as I'll be taking over, just temporarily, from the wonderful Lynn Gilmartin who is almost ready to pop and bring a beautiful new WPT family member into the world with her husband and her here. The action is already well underway over at the Seminole Hard Rock Tampa with a full schedule of live poker events for players to get stuck into. We are up to day two of event one, which is a $1 million guaranteed $500 buy-in event and an astounding 4,852 total entries have been recorded, generating a prize pool worth $2,086,360, which means that the winner will take home a prize of nearly a quarter of a million dollars. And I think it's safe to say that our players have certainly missed the energy of a live poker room. All of this, however, is just the warm up before the WPT holds its first ever main tour event in Tampa, starting this Friday, June the 18th with the $2 million guaranteed Tampa Championship. This is a three day event with two starting flights, day 1A starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time on Friday and day 1B, same time, Saturday the 19th. There is unlimited re-entry available until the start of level nine, which will be at approximately 9.15 p.m. The crowning moment, however, won't be until Tuesday the 22nd of June when we will find out who will be the first WPT Champions Club member in Tampa. <laughs> Phil Ivey, Tom Dwan, Nick Schulman, Brad Owen, Doug Polk and Steve Aoki? These are just some of the huge names making an appearance on our screens this Friday 18th of June for the $25,000 buy-in Poker King WPT Championship Heads Up. A total of 32 players from around the world will feature in the single elimination tournament all playing for a prize pool of $800,000. The action will be live streamed on Twitch and YouTube until the 22nd of June, meaning your weekend's worth of entertainment is certainly sorted. This is definitely an event not to miss, so make sure you tune in to find out who the WPT Heads Up Poker King will be. Now that's all from me today, but I will be back next Sunday to fill you in on all of the week's action on the WPT.